It's Friday, and it's time for the dribbles. No dribbles. Dribbles. <laughs> I have a finger. What? I have a finger. No, no. Finger you. No, that's wrong. Any time, sweet cheeks. I have another finger. That was really bad. Two fingers you. Finger you. I'm trying to eat. You. <laughs> ah, lovely start to the show. Good evening, everybody. Hello. And welcome, 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 welcome to the amazing weekly Abracadabra, Drablo, Drablo. It's Italian this week. That's right. Oh God, don't even put that oh, one. Italio Let's Drabolo. hear your Italian accent. Now, what are you going to do to warm up towards an Italian accent? I think I go, a Domino, well, a pizza, a, a pasta, yeah. a tag- <laughs> macaroni. A macaroni. Uh, basically. Um, right, now that I've offended, offended some friends of the family. <laughs> Ex-friends of the family. Yeah, uh, Stonking uh, Le Bear. We have some new commands tonight, which you can find out about um, throughout the show as we um, trigger them. Um, but we have also, of course, got to welcome everyone to Abracadabra, the weekly show where we invite commanders from the Elite Dangerous Universe to take part in our little competition by submitting their drabbles. What's a drabble, I hear you say? Uh, Brilliant, thank it's you. It's one hour of life wasted for no apparent reason. It's Drabble. Yeah. Thanks for asking, Skip Sag- Rats. A Drabble. Yes. This is doing nothing. We've got for Ron in the chat again. Thank you for you be the nice to you today. host, Fiery Toad. Ron. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Yeah. Very good, important contact for us. Hey, Ron6591. Um, so, Royal Hanky, what, what gives the dirt and Ron? What does Ron do that could get him into trouble with, I don't know, say, the law? Well, price not to do with the law, but if you want a cheap price at Staff's Uni for that, <laughs> you know, elite meat. If we want a good you know, price, he's, yes. He's about to make it go up. <laughs> so okay, hi Ron. <laughs> Sa, nice to meet you. No, it's always, always always nice to have someone come along and join us. Um, where are we going away? Have the, of course, what's a drabble? And you've asked what a drabble is in a rabble. Um, a drabble is well, of course. Drabble. I was eating there. Did you just say it's very nice for someone to come along and vagina? No, no. Yes. I didn't say that at all. I think you obviously you did. Did. sounded like you did. Clearly suffering from the bit of the old pigcock ear. Um, or maybe just some pig fart going on over there. Is there some pig fart? I don't know. Is, is there some pig fart going on? No, no. Don't Brady. exist. Don't even think about it, Mr. Hank. <laughs> Get your fingers off the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so, a drabble is a short story of 100 words, exactly, and for the purpose of this competition, it's set in the Elite Dangerous Universe, and to a theme picked by the previous week's winner. That's the premise. If you're still not sure what a drabble is, we have a very helpful and uh, clever uh, informational... Pick fart, pick fart, pick fart. He seals the grocery <laughs> he can't fit in. Mr. Moose, the soil does under garments, and he up out his bin. He needs evaluation for the scurvy in, in his skin. skin. A hideous face, a short of force, other diseases are there, of course, big fart. Big fart. I'm sure big I changed fart. that. He's I'm bad. sure you the did too. The crowd of drabbers <laughs> is going, so beware. Shut up, rotten bastard. He's getting wear. He's getting wear. He's getting wear. He's getting wear. Your duty bound to do this How did you know I changed that? I did that so subtly. Because I was going, th- I was going through the bot today, uh, making sure that everything was sequenced up and correct. Because we'd moved directories for a lot of the files, and some of them hadn't updated. And through that process, of course, I was going to check pig fart. And I thought that's an unusual title. That's not what it's meant to be. And so I fixed it. Um, so. Thank you, um, Hanky Panky. See, they're all working. They're all there. And we've got some new ones as well. So yes, uh, Rod, it's wonderful to have you here. You're, he's asking you, um, Hanky. He's asking how you are. What am I doing? I'm not some fucking messenger service. Get a room. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. 
psycho cow. Yes. Male escort for the potatoes. No! <laughs> Not at all. Please stand, please stand by while we press the your regularly scheduled button. Oh, here we go. Oh, mate, you're a trouble waker. Mr. Snozwell. No, no, not yet, not yet. We usually wait a wee while before we do that. Um, yeah, this is just filler. Yeah, this what? is just... We a lot of filler. A lot of filler. What? Yeah, because the show's full of holes. Take music. a look at my enormous penis. Speaking of holes, there was a glory one last week. Melting away. Bow, bow, bow. I take a look at my enormous penis. Saying the happy times are coming to stay. To stay. <coughs> that is quite true. You do look what? like an enormous penis. You shut your face, you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, sure hey, right. look who we've got in the chat! Who, who, who's, who's that, Mr. Winners? Frank! Ailes Griff! Hello! Hello. Loads it's of people in place. Let's it have is, a look in. I am the one and only, thank goodness everybody else says. That yes, it's me. Hello, everybody. Me Hello. Whoa, who's triggering the new sounds? It's not time yet. You just behave yourself. You just behave yourself. <laughs> um, right, so we will get to those in due course. I am not dead yet. Oh, I God, I listen. I am not dead yet. I can dance it. I am not dead yet. No need to go to bed. Special leave con pro. I'm not yet dead. He is not yet dead. Scare Brands! <laughs> Do not trust what? any links ever anywhere on the internet that are linked to by the name Skip Rat or any. <laughs> yeah, do not click. Do not click. I'm thinking LaveCon Pro? What the fuck's LaveCon Pro? Oh dear, Skip Rat's posted a YouTube link. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's nothing wrong with me. It's, it's, it's good family fun. <laughs> I didn't know they were filming that day. Yeah, but the problem is, get around, there's nothing right with you either. No, no, yeah, absolutely. Well, that, that, that's, that's all Infomercial! Um... Infomercial! That's what we were doing. Infomercial! I gave you an infomercial. And they get a special prize at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does it have to end? <laughs> it depends on how much battery power you've got. <laughs> well, what speed you got on? <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Right, let's go for it. This information will help you work out what a drabble is. Let's write a drabble. Sounds good. What's a drabble? That pedo bear. Glad you asked. Apparently, a drabble is a short story of exactly one hundred words. And shit. Also, about cocks, tits, or anuses. Like the potato cow. People vote for the one they want to have sex with. And a winner is selected. Um, yeah, let's not do that. Do you want me to suck your balls? Yay. <coughs> yeah, yeah, almost. Almost got away with that, that one. Was, that was almost truthful. <laughs> Just missing one thing, then you get some Muppet on a Friday actually reading them all out. Wow, fucking King Kong wanker, you have uh, 9,349,369,546 wanks. Who ate all the wanks? Who ate all the wanks? <laughs> you did, you did, Mike Snows. He's going to have to get himself my little promo that was I put up there. If you click on that link, you can get all them in one evening. <laughs> <laughs> We're not halfway through yet, are we? Well, while 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 Doctor Wink know, works his way out, can you see yeah. that? For the Drabble show, it does seem to be lacking in in <laughs> Drabbles. Here comes then the screen of dreams, the BSOD, the blue screen of Drabbles. Jazz hands, jazz hands. Yay. I like this. Which it's is jazz hands? Place. No, that's jazz hands. It's a different one. <laughs> that's jazz jazz hands, jazz hands, be jazz right hands, <laughs> jazz hands. It's very important <laughs> difference. <laughs> right, 
Right, we have got... Obviously, we had a competition last week, which was very good. Um, I don't remember it at all, actually. Uh, I'm not sure what happened last week. Uh, but last week's winner, Ten. and you can see the wonderful votes there on this beautiful BSOD behind. And you can see that we had our dual winners. Um, that one has... It was Edith the Frank, wasn't it? How the hell did Edith the Heart get five... Uh, get, 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 get... Now, what's disappointing is I would like to bring your attention to this this number here in the bottom is travel number 10 and then highlight the fact that there were only nine voters. So, travel number 10, nine voters. Now, given that I think I did vote, I don't remember. <laughs> but if I did, that means two of these people here did not vote and are absolute Muppets. Fact. I voted. Well, I think Edith the Hutt got his cock caught in a glory hole. Yeah, that's well, very I, true. I thought they were all trying to spoil my ball. Did you spoil your ballot? Did you? You spoiled your ballot paper. Doesn't mean you're allowed to wipe your ass on it. They certainly do not like the energy that's clear. in the voting booth. I want Who's something the... else on my ballot paper this week. Who's the first entry? I can't see that on my screen. Commander Alex Harrow. Oh, fuck off. Harrow! <laughs> Mr. Winnard. Hello, yes. Will you vote for Trump when he's re-elected? I'm not allowed to. Okay, then he might deport you then. We do, we do, Mike Snoswell, we do try and publicise it a little bit more. It's been a bit quiet the last couple of Sorry. weeks, but we'll, we'll get back onto the bike. Uh, we've got LiveCon coming up, we're going to officially launch the topic tonight, but I haven't come up with one yet, so maybe you guys can help. What's a good thing? Wait, I've got one. Scoop. Automated blowjob robot, there you go. Okay. I've got a topic for you. Yes, With just hands. <laughs> yes. Just hands. The real reason <laughs> Mrs. Karash had her jaw widened. No, she did not have a jaw widening <laughs> operation. <laughs> a story of Anne in a bucket of Duncan thermal paste. We don't. We don't <clears throat> use a first past the post system, Frank. We use proportional voting, where you're allowed to spread your vote over your three favourite candidates. I mean, it works well. Proportional <laughs> jizzing, you mean? <laughs> right, let's get on with our. Well, actually, no, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put the fecking topic in. Um, so, and put out a warning. And a warning, though, the warning's way too late. Today, Carl? Sorry? Do you need any protection today? Um, no, I am not in game at the current second. No, we didn't spread them out over the candidates. For, no, 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 not like that. No, we spread. Oh, God damn it. No wonder they go to the polls. This week is, of course. We we give and it the to them never and they complain. Take, we give it to them and they take it on the chin. <laughs> they do. They think the Polish are good like that. Trouble number. This is our team two hundred and five. Right, all good girls do. And yeah, you know all about that. Oh, oh yeah, to lives now. I'll come back um, in an hour. He might get round to the first trouble. I might. Uh, I know. Yeah, no, it's just it, it's just descending into cars. Let's go with the roll. Uh, I, so I've, got, I've got control over them. Look, there you go. They've gone. Now they can't. I can't hear them. You can't hear them. And we can have our own little show. So Drabble theme this week is week 205, I think. Maybe six. I don't know. I got that wrong often. But it is colour and something about Captain Metal Pants. I am not but mostly colour. That's a strange, strange theme this week, isn't it? A little, yeah. Right, well, let's go on and see what people manage to make of it, because we have got nine drabbles tonight, and the first one coming up is by the... Is he here? Yes, he is. Galactic Midden! Great I know you haven't put out, you put out a warning, but there is also another warning. Is there? Um, I started to read this uh, drabble <coughs> and then I got diarrhea. Oh no! Are there any other health effects of drabbles? Well, it's, well, it's not drabbles, it's just anything Galactic Midden does gives people diarrhea. Well, actually, if you got diarrhea from us, I call them dribbles. Drabble? <laughs> If you have too many troubles, you get jingle jangle jitis. Hey, hang on a minute. If it's a move get diarrhea, surely that's an improvement. It's <laughs> all <Some> shit anyway. <laughs> it is indeed. Drabble number one is by Galactic Midden, and it's titled 
When Diary. you try your best, but you don't succeed. Fuck cock. You, when you get you what you know. want, but not what you need. Medin, you did this. Pardon? You did this. Grant, you when did you can't this. sit down, cause you're This is all asleep. your fault. I know. Then your sign I show your face. I can't believe you fixed the book. <laughs> Drop the one by Galactic Midden. We shall be And Galactic Jace Fart. Yeah. It's got all Vic and Bob on us. It goes. And when it leads this one out? A bit like this. <laughs> yeah, reach for the stars. By steps. Reach for the glory hole. By steps? <laughs> Captain Metal Pants stared at Edith <laughs> with a disdain that could be felt across the bar. You Oops. said you had a good name for the group. That's a great name, retorted Edith. Not for a female community choir, Mrs. Jingles would go apoplectic. Right in to her blue rinse if we perform a board bonkers with that name. Well, you'll be laughed off stage without it or something catchier. Galaxy's talent, a fierce competition. Maybe not my biggest problems. Anyway, that's our lead singer. Daphne, why? I discovered why she sings deep baritone. Edith nodded. She needs to go. Just color. Just cut off her. Just 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 color. Ah. Uh, mm. uh. The f- no! That was actually quite good for him. No. Oh! I'll vote for that. Burn it in fire. Probably your only vote. Um, oh my god, we got another hunter shandling. I did see a, a, Mr. a Mrs. Mr. Noodles in there, didn't I? Mr. and Mrs. Noodles. Armed Noodles there. Good evening, Noodles! Oh, and Mrs. Noodles. That Drabble gave me cancer. Yeah, she did. Yeah, Noodles. 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 Yeah,
Watch it in your end. Please don't keep the signs. The hole is bigger than The sounds are more entertaining than I am. Well, fuck you. Coming soon from the Modern Orbital Radio okay. will be the charity version of this for the sufferers of mods. Now, just, 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 it, just for Mike Snowsbill, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the feed of sound to the channel. <laughs> And put see, hand up in front of your mouth as well. See if he can adjust his hearing aids up, and then we'll put it up full blast. And we'll <laughs> actually, when you're reading the travels, do you know how you can just like, like, like flick your lips without your finger go? Yeah. Really Alright, it's not you guys he's not going to let read you skip right you fool and put your vagina away <laughs> what mistake have I made Kung Fu is this one of the good travels team speak channel yes what's it we would never forget the loop system <laughs> yeah, futuristic is kung fu. What I've seen is <laughs> it's Friday night sing along. It's just a bit shit. It is. It's Friday night. Jetson Ring a good one. Okay, thank you. Right. Is that what? say Jetson Ring or is it Jetson R N G? I don't know. No, it's R I N G. So it's definitely a ring. Driving, it's got a certain ring to it. Driving number two is by Jetson Ring, and it's titled. Silent Running, which is kind of like the follow-up to Cool Runnings. Welsh. Yes. Well, I say it. I called it Tallulah. That was my mother's <laughs> name. Silent Running. Silent Running. I like Silent Running. Trouble number two silent by Jetson Ring. Running is what I did. Silent <laughs> Running is what I did when I was running away from the sheep. Yes. <laughs> the running away from the sheep, yes. <laughs> Another battle has been being waged. Mr. Winner has never run away from a sheep in his life. We're, we're all going to hell. Don't worry, buddy, folks. We're all going no. to hell. Morning wants it to be known. No. He says Velcro gloves. Velcro no. gloves? No. Apparently, they're very helpful. I'm getting a little Velcro effect. Right, I'm not sure where we're going. Jabba number two, that's right, that's where we're going. It's by uh, Jason Ring and his title de Salent Running. And it goes unsurprisingly like this. Everybody sway. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, no, so so so. What do you say about Kit? <clears throat> the commander's order. Do pass it to play? No, you get out of my bar. You stinky skibbert. Eh, eh. Yeah, you come in here with your perfume. I don't like your perfume. That's not perfume, motherfucker. Um, that is legis. It's uh, okay. It's a mystery, <laughs> and we have no idea. You have a number two is by Jetson Wing and his tattered silent running. The commander's face registered amusement as she studied the holographic display before her. Another battle was being waged between single large capital class cruisers from each of the two major factions, assisted by a few dozen smaller ships of various classes, down to the smallest ship, the most petit ship, launched fighters. Their fleet tactics were awful. No battle ever ended in victory, but neither side. Just crews and ships spent freely. The ships were pretty. She mused, very colorful. Ah, Belle. I painted up like tiny fishing lures. Humans would soon hook into the biggest fish of all when the rest of the people revealed themselves. <laughs> Seven. Uh -huh. The end. Fini. Thank you much for that. <laughs> Even Kyle's horrible trip. We didn't count not to make this travel completely shaped. But. What? <laughs> 
I honestly couldn't okay. tell if that was good or not. I think uh, somebody was I, typing I, I, through I the night travels. The first three words. I think they were. You think so? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think they were typing with their arse. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to actually do a version of that French accent with a mechanical voice, and then we're going. And then Thanks for the host. Oh, that wasn't his French accent. <laughs> no, that was Jamaican. That was his Sean oh, Connery oh, impression. Great. There's cow on Google's you Translate. Give a there. Fuck who you are, mate. You're not parking that there. Yeah, okay, I've definitely. Oh, I remember when Rick Dar used to come here. Ah, oh, so much better now. Right, uh, right. Well, we're going to move on to our because we're almost halfway through. Um, travel right number three. Travel number three that? is by Lister I sixty nine. Hey, Lister, 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 Lister. Oi. Yes. Do you want to read your own travel? Because because it's like a British election, so so like surely Trump would let you. Well, actually, what happened is I was, he's trying to drag in front of the FBI this week and not released. The drabble to the FBI yet, and so they're still classified information, so they can only be read out by a person in another country. So, unfortunately, that's gonna have to be you. Oh, I think that's his roundabout way of saying it's your job. Get on with it. Oh, okay. Can you be nice and just disobey Trump for once? Yeah, who just do your job. I obeyed Trump. I usually go to the toilet and follow through. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> that's not obeying Trump. That's obeying a Trump. Oh. That's uh, following oh, worthy advice and not just ignoring the hot air from a Trump. What is it, Skippy? Oh, uh, I've got a shit joke for you lot. A what? It's a bit of an Odie joke. Is it a shit uh. joke? It is. It is. Why Warning. Is it, uh, Warning. Warning. Wait a Warning. Wait a second. Wait a second. Warning. Shit joke alert. Right, hit us. Why is there no anodin in the jungle? Ah, oh, I know this. Because no the way. paracetamol. Fucking die, you That's going to kill them, Your Honor. <laughs> That's where you're shot. Um, repeatedly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Probably. <laughs> That is the sound of my sex life. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought it said, oh no, I've deleted the monkeys. <laughs> I know he's picked part of music as well. <laughs> and that's the sound of my sex life. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Hello, Sci Fi 88 man! Right, drama number three was by Let's Drive 69. Don't be bothered by the reading these. It's titled Captain Metal Pants and the Blackface. A sad tale of poverty, depression, and desperation. And who the fuck is typing? It's Midden. It's <laughs> Simon. He's thinking about me. I put him on push to talk. Thought that would fix it. Thinking about you, he would be typing. I think he is pushing. Yeah. Push it, push it. That means he is. A sad tale of poverty, desperation, and rustling. Well, this sounds quite deep and and, and somber. Let's um, let's give it. Get my popcorn out for this. Yeah, get your popcorn ready. Get your get your milks and cookies, everyone. We're going on a journey. Over here, please, Simon. Yeah. Make sure you go off the class. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Mm. Okay. Do I? Okay. Anyway, I will try my best. Mike Snowswell to do that. Captain Metal Pants sighed. There had been a time when the name Metal Pants had instilled fear throughout the galaxy. Not anymore. Washed up. Creditless, even his famous ship, the Star Pirate, had been broken up for scrap. Probably to make another rubbish mug somewhere that didn't have his face on it. All he had left was his old metal pants, which had seen much better days. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he fingered a rusty <laughs> bullet hole, <laughs> casually making it wider. But today, his fortune would change. 
he'd got a tip from an old sidekick. Slowly he levelled his pulse pistol. Metal patent is back. Die, evil pig fart. Pig fart, pig fart, pig fart, pig Kill pig fart. Everybody spam it, you know you want it. Been trying to. <sighs> what a <sighs> what bullshit this one. Pig fart. Sounds are off. No, they're not. They're on. It's just you. You can't work on the computer. I, I, I worked a minute ago. That was that was the the Theresa that May of troubles. Gave me cancer. <laughs> do you mean? Um, if you can't do that in teams, hey, I wrote it. Oh yes, yeah, same about the drabble, Sorry, shame, shame about the drabble, Yes. Hence, hence the Theresa May of troubles. Thank you, Hankies. There isn't a dog lick command. Going to keep the world in about five minutes. Like Hanky Panky, like Panky. Good Spanky. Hanky Spanky guy! Right, we're moving on. We're moving on to drama number four, which is by Frank! And it's called. Color Me. Pick fart, pick fart, pick fart, pick fart. He sails across the ocean in a ship he can't fit in. He soils his undergarments and he fights with the bin. He needs evaluation for the scurvy in his skin. A hideous face, a shard of force, other diseases are there, of course. Big fart, big fart, big fart. He's bad. The drabble crowd of drabbers is growing, so beware. I edited that as well. It's getting rare. So kill that pig fart weekly, all the symptoms you will share. Not so good anymore. Oh my word, it's been undone. What? He's like, you could sneak into my computer and edit my yeah. bot. Mr. Moose wrote in the chat about giving a command that gives a guide dog a poo. I've often <laughs> wondered if you gave a guide dog laxative, you'd be able to track a guide person for a while, five miles. <laughs> <laughs> I, I it reminds me of a story. <laughs> It yeah, reminded me of a story. You've got a little bit too much time on your hands. You could just train <laughs> snails to follow them. <laughs> About ten years ago, somebody uh, invented food that would make uh, dog and cat shit um, glow in the dark. Hi, Moon Prayer. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a brilliant idea, except for. When he turned the lights off in his house, he could see everywhere his cat had sat. <laughs> 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 it was just all these ooze everywhere. All these little dots, yeah. Multicoloured dots. Oh my gosh. We will be going to uh, Quiplash later on, I just realised I have not updated the fecking category again. I'm so going to get banned for the most... I'm going to get banned from Twitch for the wrong things, you know? If they banned me for the content, it wouldn't be a problem. Drab number four is by Frank. But I'll get really upset if I get you know, banned for a technicality. Drab number four is by you'll Frank. Beg, you'll have to beg them to take you back and show you boobies. <laughs> 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 Accidental news, the, yes. That's when you fall that's over and your pants fall off. That's what all the big money streamers do. I'm sure they're boobies. Hold on, yeah. I like big boobies, cannot lie. Drop number four is by Frank, and it's titled <laughs> Color Me Bad. Oh dear. Ooh, rated. Yeah. I wanna no. suck you up. Capital Metal Pants and the Star Pirates of Rocktopia was playing on live video. Frank switched off the novelty electro rock music and turned the air blue with curses aimed at Edith and his stupid topic. That's me 39 words down, I've only got 100. His wingman got him back to the task in hand. We've got to thin down the number of orange sidewinders, there's too many, we need to kill them. Frank read his orders in blanched white. It's not that I'm yellow, I just don't want to mow down all those greenhorns. I don't want to be a colour.
Oh my god, we got another room to shine. Oh my god, we got another room to shine. Oh yeah. I made it like you. Oh my wasn't quite as good as you remembered, Kung Fu. Eh? Wasn't quite as good as you remembered. Was it just not maybe poo? Yeah, the no. good got Mr. Nolly enough. No, you didn't add. You didn't add the colour in that Frank added. <laughs> Did it not? No. Probably for good reason. Yeah, it was for good reason. Drama number five is by Ooh, Royal Hanky. Hey, Royal Hanky. Yes, my lord. Would you like to read your own travel? Well, I pay my own leads to read my travel, so I suppose you better read my travel. <laughs> okay, well, seeing as you copied and pasted it, it's not fair. Drum number five is by Royal Hanky. How about copy and paste it? <laughs> Come on, this is clearly written by a school child. Drum number five is by Royal Hanky. <laughs> so it's by Psycho Cow, aged four and a half. <laughs> Boy, you beware! Yeah, it's by Tech Monkeys. Um, no, no, we've got a limited amount of Trump Monkeys. We, we haven't got the infinite amount yet. Drum number five is by Royal Hanky, titled "Boy, you beware." Not all people are what you think they are. Commander Alien here. Yes, Commander. What can you do for you? What can you do for you to? What can you do for you today? <laughs> someone who needs to go back to school to learn to read, two you all can do that, huh? <laughs> what can we do for you today? Nicely actually? done, Jimmy. <laughs> Commander Alien here! Yes, Commander, what can you do for you today? Well, I would like my haircut, please! Okay. We will have to take some details in case there is a small accident. Okay! Name Alien! Where do you live? Preston! United Kingdom Planet Earth! Security code and bank details. Why did it them? In case of emergency. Okay! Security code is DE7853RE. Bank account number 32964653. Pin 6923. Just then. An announcement came over the centre's loud speaker. Beware, pirate crazy horse masquerading as a hairdresser, taking people's details. Alien looked around, and the pirate had gone. <laughs> What's better about that drabble, the fact of the drabble itself, or the fact that when you were doing an impersonation of Alien, it actually sounded pretty good then you tried like that. that was a spot on impersonation of Alien, I thought, I thought it was Alien. <laughs> I thought it was more like great <laughs> Alien at first, and then he started to migrate into Dobbo. I, I, I thought it was think... William Shatner. Can, can I just say, a better ending to that drabble would be Alien looked around and the hair had gone. <laughs> oh, to me, I think a better ending to that so, drabble would this be is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys, then. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> I voted for one you. La one last drink. <laughs> <laughs> one last drink for you now. Goodbye, everybody else. Pour you one. Oh. Yeah, you know you want problem with that? Mr. Move doesn't drink. Oh, sugar. Whatever. He never drinks water. Kosh likes that one. No. Kosh like that one. Right, we're no, going no, on. I don't drink water. I uh, squeeze well, my... Water. It, it well, might be clear that it might be gin. But hey, water and gin are the same colour. I... I squeeze it out of the Grant. small animal yeah. bite. Yeah, um, give me... So you know give me piss the same thing. Yeah. Color, but he doesn't drink that. Drum number six yeah. is by Fung! <laughs> it's by Fung is... <laughs> Thank you, Hanky. That drabble gave me cancer. <laughs> Thanks, it's Drum Love 6 is by Fong. <laughs> Stop it with the kids. Stop it. Alexi, we're gonna have to your old monkey read it this time. So, this is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys then. Drum Love 6 <laughs> is by Fong. <laughs> this is Drum Love 6 is by Fong. It's, 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 it's called Called oh. to the Colors. Too soon. 
have, have I seen called to that the That was awesome! I haven't seen the biscuit bar. What biscuit bar? Called to the colours. Ooh, that's what it's called. <laughs> 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 this show is giving me cancer. Level <laughs> number six by Bob. <laughs> it is titled <laughs> Called to the Colors. Too soon. <laughs> Promotion in the field is the quickest path to advancement for the bold and ambitious. <laughs> Few can equal the meteoric rise of Napoleon Metalpants, who succeeded three commanding officers in the space of a single week. During the viciously intense fighting of what has come to be known as the Battle of Rocktopia, of diminutive stature and forthright views, the frank little general was admired and respected by those with whom he served, whilst his enemies were observed to tremble at the very mention of his name, and parents frightened their children into obedience by threatening his imminent presence. <laughs> I'm frightened. Are you sure he's French? French. I have to ask, who was giggling? <laughs> uh, that was, that was of course, Sci-Fi 88 man who kept giggling. Hold on a second, I'll put the sounds on for you guys, right? Trigger away, go for it, what do you reckon? <laughs> No! Right! That drabble that gave me cancer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys, then. Drama number six was by far on there, so... We're moving on, we're actually getting close to the end of the, sh the, end of the list. Drama number seven! God damn you, woman! You fucking stabbed me! God damn you, woman! It was a mistake. What can I do to prove I'm sorry? Well, in the future, I'd appreciate it if you could not fucking stab Stop me. me. <laughs> Cow. Yes. Do you call this a show? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, you can shut your fucking mouth when you're sitting over there said Mr. Hanky as he was pulling out his pubic hair. He started counting them, but only got to five. He'd left the fridge doors open and he'd frozen himself alive. <clears throat> Hanky. Hanky. What? Hanky. <laughs> what are you on about? Hanky. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, Jesus. Um, how does someone submit a drabble for next week and what is next week's topic? Right, good question, Moon Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor sci-fi. Well, what we do is we have, at the end of the show we'll have the uh, for our fuck's sake, turn the sounds off. Yeah, you need to just you just need to work with the music, say it sexually. Oh right, okay, hold on. You just need to go to the forums and put your one hundred words deep in there. The thing will be picked on a, a Monday by the winner. Oh, you sound like you're constipated. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. 
It's, it's a drabble. It's hot. I just can't cope. I am Taurus. How are you, mate? They get me Hello. blocked. Um, yeah, so basically, when's the pain going to end soon? That's if you we on a Monday afternoon, the new theme is usually picked by the winner. So whoever wins this weekend will get to choose the topic for next week. So Monday we should have a topic. If not, it'll be free. But you can get there by going to Abertogabadol. Oh, for fuck's sake. You can get there. <laughs> <laughs> Get there by going by Aberystwyth. That's it. By Ar- <laughs> take a left. Uh, it's left at Lave, and then you take a right. Um, it is yeah. by going to abracadrabble.com forward slash vote to cast your vote for this week's competition and abracadrabble.com forward slash new N-E-W on Mondays will take you to the new theme and you can try both those addresses, they work now. But we're going to go on with Drabble number 7 before we run out of steam. Drabble number 7 is by Insane what? Photon and it's called... Can what? No, it's called. I think, I think the what command's back in. By the way, what? No, the what command. What? Yeah, that one. Travel number seven is by what? what? Uh, tra- no, don't do it because we we broke into Harry's fusion the last time we did that one. <laughs> Travel what? number seven. Yeah, what? Okay, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm not ready. That gave me cancer. (laughs) (laughs) Drabble number seven is by Insane Photon. This uh, this, this soundbite's giving me cancer. (laughs) (laughs) Drabble number seven is by Insane Photon and it's titled Convention Time. (laughs) And it goes like this. Convention charters, am I? A one oh for fuck. Drama number seven by Insane Photon. <laughs> Convention time. <laughs> convention charters are one of my favourite jobs. The passengers spend their time in the convention centre, so the crew get plenty of free time. We even get a free pass for the convention. You remember that kiddie show, Captain Metal Pirates, and the Star Pirates of Rocktopia. Oh, the boss is a big fan of it. He's trying to get the full set of figurines, including all the colour variations. Maybe I can find the very brown trouser Captain Metal Pants he's looking for. But right now, the cute cosplayer in the Edith Warrior Princess outfit wants to get to know me better. <laughs> Oh, that's one you just jumped out of the cage. Oh, my dear. Yeah, please, go get a little tavern. Come on, find Jimmy a job. Captain what? Morgan. Go get a What? 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 The what Are costume? The Edith the Warrior Princess outfit. Hold That's on, what you're wearing, on, Edith. Ready yet. <laughs> oh, no, I've just received the message that this next travel is the best travel in the world. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's by me. No, no. It's, it's, it's by Carlsberg. No, it's by, it's by Simon. <laughs> or, or Pig Fart. God, God. Call it Pig Fart. How can you say it's the best travel when he made you sort of be funny in it, it, Dwarf 2? He made me be funny. Did you bring that from Pickford? Pickford? Did you bring that from Pickford? Pickford. 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 You're duty bound to do be smart, it's kill Simon for the game, big fart. Simon? 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 Yeah. What, what, why do they call you pig fart? Oh, shut up. <laughs> you know how at school, like, the the big boys bully you and give you bad nicknames. Who called you That's pig fart? That's not how it happened. <laughs> how, how is pig fart a bad name? You give pig fart a That sounded like name. another volunteer for becoming pig fart for a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't bother me. 
Drop the eight. Well, he is a redneck. When you get called a pig tired, you kind of look like one, you sneer like one, and you waddle like one. You might be a pig tired. <laughs> Agree with you there. That doesn't make me feel any better. If anybody knows what Jimmy just said there, if you could send a translation on a postcard and address it, I to do not waddle like a pig fart. I'm just going to say that. Right there. No, you just don't. He does smell like a pig fart, though. He does vibrate yeah, yeah. like a pig fart. I'll take that one. Travel number eight, <laughs> Jimmy. I feel sorry for you, Sammy. <laughs> Travel number eight. I can say categorically that I've only <laughs> ever known the lovely Simuth to smell like fart once, and that's when he <laughs> opened the van door, farted, and then shut it on us straight away. <laughs> <laughs> he went down somewhat in my estimation that day, but redeemed himself. That fantastic on, I have to say. Really? So uh, really? Ball. You just wasn't that case of, you know, at first that's disgusting and then you, you, you experience it and you know that it's disgusting and then you have to have a little bit of admiration that that was created and timed so horrifically for you and me that were stuck in the back of that bloody van. It was, you and I. Just me and you, Kai. Just me and you. Grand. Where were scented vapes then, eh? Where were scented vapes? <laughs> <laughs> Grant, have you got any statistics on this show? Statistics? Yes, yeah, so how much time was spent on reading travels and how much time was spent on just talking. Good God, no. Too much hard work. Stats. Is that like, you know, paying attention to her? Thank very cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> See, since he became a member of the Hot more. Pit team, all he does is collect stats, you know. It's not like you. More filler in this show than they've got on the shelves of being cute. <laughs> God, he must have a fucking boring life. <laughs> Travel number eight is by Simon. It depends on who you So, so, so he's a stat. Um, he's a stat ticker. <laughs> Whereas well, Antarius is a tit stacker. We can't do any stats at the moment because we can't get to the system where we do the stats in. Drum number eight is by Simuf and it's titled Some Things Are Better Left Untitled. <laughs> and unread. What? And unread. <laughs> unread. <laughs> I do apologise for this one. Untitled. <laughs> Untitled. <laughs> this does not apply to me, sorry. No, no. It's, it's a reference no, for... No, did you do that? Did you do that? Let's go for... This. Yep. What? Say what? He should have known better. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> the sound might get the cancer. Right. 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 <laughs> Stop looking at my eyes. Are you crying? <laughs> oh dear. Try that one again. Drop number eight by Simon. Some things are best left untitled. Who's this by? Samuf. He should have known better. Zero G was unforgiving. There was nothing for it. Captain Metal Pants would need to de-pant. Now, was he double panted or not? He tried to remember what underwear he had put on that morning. You better hurry up, my patience is growing very thin. The ambassador growled. I'm trying, but seriously, you must get into all sorts of bother, especially through security checks. This is not going well for your cause. You do realise that? Finally, Captain Metal Pants floated free from his binded trousers. You can keep my dented pants, I have plenty more! Ambassador <laughs> Magno Dick was not to be used. <laughs> Grant, are you a Nazi? <laughs> no! What? what? Are you He's gone all blue and white wing. Mr. Mitten says you're a Nazi. I what? don't, I don't think he does. Yeah, no, don't think he does. Yeah, I don't think he does. Read it. Team Scoop. <clears throat> Look at the uh, chat box on uh, Twitch. What? What? Where? No, Twitch! 
Oh, there. What? What? Oh, hit me! <laughs> For fuck's sake, Jax. Can, can I just say that that is not a good catchphrase? Yeah. <laughs> it, it didn't work very well. The last comedian. Yeah, it really didn't work well for, um, it was Silla Black, wasn't it? Yeah, Silla Black bastard. I take a look at my enormous penis And my troubles start to melt away They really do I take a look at my enormous penis And the happy times are coming to stay Yes, me, you may vote for that Drabble, that's good news, so you might that get one vote. That Drabble gave me cancer. <laughs> just, just remember, cancer's no laughing matter, so vote now and let's prevent some cancer. <laughs> that was awesome! Drama number and nine! Now for a quick word from our sponsors. <laughs> Gran is a poopy head, he's a poopy head. Drop it! Gran is a poopy head, poopy head. Poopy head, poopy head. Gran is a poopy head, poopy head. Cowbell! Oh, Cowbell! Right, can you tell me who does more to sabotage your show than you? What do you mean? That one sabotage my own show. <laughs> Why do you think Mr. Heike actually wanted the Drabble show to flow? <laughs> yeah. I think he likes something, to slow it down. Something, something tells me Mr. hanky has been corrupted by Crash. Yeah, the I yeah. like to say, Mr. Hanky, oh. much as we all love you, are you sure you're in the right place? Yeah. <laughs> Care in the community, services we offer to all. Drabble number nine is by yeah. Edith the oh. Hut. Oh. And yeah, just before you go, because for, for for a while now, we've made assumptions that everybody knows Edith the Hutt has a penis. Yeah, so, this is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys. Then. I am in the right place. Hey, Elsie. <laughs> I love you. Shit. So so would you lay? That's coming out. So if you happen to see <laughs> Edith unzip, you might get a little fright. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> <Awesome> timing. <laughs> Travel number nine. It is by Edith the Hutt, and it's titled Assault on Level Green. Written with a penis. No, no, pro probably with a pen, I would imagine. Who's a penis? I'm not a penis. The Exquisite. Travel on nine by Edith the Hutt. Assault on Level Green. The exquisite stained glass portrait of Arissa Levigny Duval exploded in a hurricane of flames. Sharp edges and rock and roll as the Cobra troop transports burst through at three times the speed of sound. Imperial guards scattered as the star pirates landed, blazing multi cannon rounds from gyro stabilized exosuits as their ships pumped out of the hard rock of carnal lust and anarchy. Screamed through a Stratocaster. Leading the advance, the chrome legged leader of the Renegade Band signalled her troops. Okay, boys, let's be heroes. The Imperials took her legs as punishment for her crimes. Today wasn't about payback, they had innocence to save. We could be heroes. Just one time. That's a good travel. Yeah, that was a travel. Yeah. Nice one, Edith. That yeah, was that was good. I, I, I noticed you never mentioned the word glory you in that one, Edith. Yeah, no. Tarries <laughs> <laughs> and he did it to himself. <laughs> So you seen long to the legs, and that battle will be weedle waddle to the battle. <laughs> no. What the hell? Oh, no one's done the midden command today. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we fixed part. We fixed peel. Okay, Sorry, I can't stop it. Oh, oh, oh no! There's a big one coming on. Frank Command's working, yes. Frank Command's working, yes. 
Let's see if we can command oh, these I, I, tried, I tried it a couple of times, it wasn't happening. I am not dead yet. I can dance and I can sing. I am not dead yet. I can do the Highland thing. I am not right. dead yet. No need to go to bed. No need to call the doctor because I'm not yet dead. He is not dead yet. That's what they need to say. No, he's not dead yet. And it's on his head. He is not dead yet. Put him back in bed. Keep him on the cot because he's not yet. See you later, Mindwipe. Mindwipe had to dash at the last second there. So that was the last drabble for tonight. So the first poll of... Can we do all the drabbles again so we can get extra votes? That drabble gave me cancer. Yeah, don't get to include the monkey in the dead room. Goodbye to the uh, BSOD. And what we're going to do is bring up the instructions of (laughs) what we need you to do next, which is fairly straightforward, really. Um, we need you to vote. So, to vote, then you must go to abracadrabble.com. So, this is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys. Then. That's right. Forward yeah, slash vote. Number vote. Five, vote number five. five. And then on Monday, you go to abracadrabble.com forward slash news. Your penis is so strong. Your penis is so smooth. Your penis got a rhythm. Your, Your penis, penis got a good Your penis is a Target dream. To work. The biggest one I've seen. <laughs> it's oozy and it's green. What can't you get to work? His penis. Oh, well, there. Yeah. Oh, no, that, that dad had dropped off and started its own uh, voting system. That was shit. Never stick your penis in the voting system. We will no. always chop it off. No. <laughs> Right, we have reached the end of our competition part of tonight's show. Now, of course, we Drabble gave me cancer. Yeah, cow. So, this is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys, then. Really? What, what, is, what is the excellent news, then? I'm in the lead. Oh, you're choking! Yeah, he is. He's leading. This doesn't make sense. Vote for number five. Vote for number five. This does not make sense. I have won a travel show, you know, Mr. Cow. Have you? Now, the truth is, he's got all those monkeys working to him, and they're clicking the button. Die, 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 die. die. It's a a finite amount of monkeys. monkeys. Um, Dragging me from my horse. Where's this ship? Gone, I stammered. Didn't want rescuing by this lot. They stared at the scorch. They stared at the scorch. What the heck's that? Ah, what? this is better. What? 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 Yeah, because you got to take your I, w- I want to hear this. Th- I want to hear him sing it. <laughs> What's going on? What the fuck, is what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> F you, F you. Dreams are I have up. a finger. I have a finger. <laughs> Hmm, finger you! No, that's wrong. I have a finger. Is it, is I have it? another finger. <laughs> that was really bad. Two fingers you! Finger you! Two finger you! Hmm, one finger, two finger you! Yeah, that did not think through very carefully at all. Have we fallen fingers? Yes! That was a bad. Have we fallen through hole in the space time continuum? Yes, <laughs> it happens from time to time. Um, yeah, so if you look at Galactic Bid, he does it most weeks. That's where he gets his wardrobe from. The 1980s. Then I, hope I, I hope you're not driving the happy bus down this time, then. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Now he's the yellow doors. Yeah, Mr. Move. We do have a happy bus. Bad news for you. Oh no. Now he's flying the yellow doors. You're not winning anymore. Oh! I just shut the vote on Frank when he knew. The special bus. That's what I get. Yep. Short bus. Why have you done that to me? What have I done to <laughs> you? <laughs> I voted the for you. Bus. The yellow bus. They're all on the yellow bus. Hold on a minute. Actually, last year it was I'm a white bus. It was a beautiful bus last year, wasn't it? It was a cracker. It was a black bus. It was bus. a gorgeous bus. Was it not a black bus? Was it a white bus? No, it was a white bus with... It was grey. But it was it silver. It was white on the outside, wasn't it? 
I can't remember. It was grey on the outside. It was brown on the inside. It was black when they started off in Glasgow. Uh, yeah. Well, we are we are in the fun bus this year for, for we've got two weekends. So if you are a fan of Abacadrabble, do tune in on the Sunday of LaveCon. That'll be the 26th of this month, is it? Let's have a lovely check. Sunday the what 25th. The 25th at 12 o'clock. I will come up with a topic and you can enter your Drabbles for an opportunity to win a prize. We may add a, add a little donation button to put some money into the special effects charity um, because people on the day uh, get to enter it as well. So we could use some Drabbles and we'll get the topic up. Um, next week I'll come up with it. I'll get the forms so and sheets ready. This is what you get with a finite amount of monkeys then. And you can enter your Drabbles. And then if you join us on the Sunday from sort of lunchtime, 12 o'clock, You'll see an Abaca Travel show done live, and that we have was something awesome. really, really special for you all. That was shit. Yeah. No, no, it's that means you've got it to have a... does 120 cycles a second. <laughs> 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 me. That that make, me that make anybody's eyes water. <laughs> Well, apparently it's toe curling. I want to hear this. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have you tried it? No. Liar. What the fuck is this shit? F you, F you. No, there's a lot of want to take note of her. I have a finger. Finger you. No, that's wrong. I have a finger. I have another finger. That was really bad. Two fingers, you. Finger, you. Two fingers. How long you get this into the top 50? <laughs> get on iTunes, <laughs> finger. Two finger, you. Can't be the plan. Think what, what, very what, 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 that's <laughs> all. I know fingers. Yes. I <laughs> know fingers right there. Oh, yeah. Right, we are done for this week and we are going to call a close to this part of the show and we'll be back in a wee bit if you want to stick around for a little bit of Quiplash 2. Um, if you want to join us in Quiplash 2, please get your browser set to jackbox.tv and get ready for the code to come and join us. At this point, I will put on the song request so that you can fire up that by doing exclamation mark song request and then put in a YouTube link. Please try and keep it to music. That would be appreciated. And um, I'll be back. I'll just go and check on my wife and make sure what she's okay. About? What do you mean? What are you talking about keeping it to music? It's always been musical. No, it's not always musical. Not you, especially. I'm not always doing it musically. <laughs> but before that kicks off... Oh, quite a few oh, so dusted. Oh, Entire Fusion's putting some Die Antwoord, that's good. Um, we are going to answer that one question that everyone's always query querying and asking. Uh, Mr. Winters. Why is, what's it, what's why the is King Hanky so good? Why is King Hanky so good? Nobody ever yeah. thought... Mm. It wasn't Drabble? No, no. What happened to last week's Drabbles? No, what happened to last week's Drabbles? That's Where's the one. <laughs> What's a Drabble? Welcome to the show. It's Abraka Drabble. Welcome. Each week we invite commanders from... Oh, God. What? 